Welcome back to the Crooks Garden where the birds are singing to us um, and uh, we're getting towards the end of spring and uh, here in the here in the pots we have um, some crocus bulbs that are more or less going over these have been in in these pots now for uh, ooh, about three or four years so we leave the um, leave the leaves while there's still some green in there because they will be storing energy back down into the bulbs but you can see they're starting to go over because these are quite early flowering these are in flower they look fantastic back in february and early march the bees were loving them and everything else you'll find a video on our channel showing those very bees in action on these very crocus just saying um, so in order that they'll come back next year we'll cut those back and then we'll plant some other summer stuff um, around there um, some, some bedding plants and so on we'll just leave the bulbs in they'll go dormant they're fine they can cope anything that the weather the winter weather throws at them so crocus are very good at coming back year after year so long as the mice don't get them tulips like we've got here in this um, in this pot uh, these were um, our ballerina tulips lovely orange uh, flowers lasted a long time this spring because we had quite a cold cold spring these are not so good at, um, at coming back through the um, through the winter and I think it's mainly to do with the fact that uh, tulips like to be a little bit dry over the over the summer months they need to have a dormant spell there naturally that they were kind of their natural environment is um, I think it was Turkey I, I just I envisage kind of stony rocky ground on the edge of a Turkish mountain somewhere where it's very very free draining very hot and dry in the summer that's the natural environment for tulips that we you know that we uh, we now th th these are kind of you know a few hundred years descendant from those original Turkish um, tulips so in Wales where it, <laughs> it seems to rain all summer tulips don't do so well so what we what we do after they finish flowering we keep on feeding them you know I like to use my high potash slow release feed or you could use um, tomato fertilizer so that you're storing energy back down into the, the bulbs into the roots there the other thing we can do is cut off the um, the dead seed heads the dead flowers because unless you want to collect the seed and grow your own tulips um, they will be using up energy trying to store and, and, and grow seeds in there so we're going to take those out of the way so all that energy that is produced goes down to the bulb where where we want it and we're going to leave them until the leaves go, go yellow you can see they're just starting to go a little bit yellow here and there but they're probably another three or four weeks yet for these so probably in somewhere towards the end of June um, they will once once they go yellow what I'll probably do once that bulb is dormant and therefore more sensitive to being too wet I'll probably put them in the shed or the garage you could lift lift them up completely and dry out the bulbs that's one way of doing it but here in Wales we'd say that's a bit of a potch you know um, so what we're gonna do is um, put them somewhere dry and dormant so they end up being sat in dry dry compost and we'll leave them there until um, probably around about October November and then bring them back outside into the autumn and it'll be as if they've been replanted they get rained on and they'll be um, restarted then for, for next for next spring so we're going to try that this year and keep you posted on our progress hope this makes sense and you can get your tulips to come back year after year in your garden too do let us know how you get on any questions please uh, contact us via the YouTube comments thanks